This is The Riff. I'm Jack Trash, and joining us on the Scream Guitars Hotline, Scream Guitars for play or display, screamguitars.com, is Carmine Apiece, one of the most influential drummers in the history of rock and roll. Listen to these people who call him influence. How about Neil Peart, Tommy Lee, Nico McBrain, just to name a few. Now, Carmine's played with everybody from Ozzy Osbourne to Vanilla Fudge to King Cobra, but he was also part of something that was happening in the 70s that I can't even imagine. So if you would, Carmine, what was it like playing with Rod Stewart, that artist, at that time? Let me tell you, that was probably, in, in my autobiography, I have an autobiography, Al Scroll. Uh, stick it, my life of sex, drums, and rock and roll. And, and Rod, Rod wrote the intro for me. He, at that time, was the biggest singer, the greatest frontman, the greatest rock singer in the world, period. I mean, and we had a great, fantastic band. And we were the Rod Stewart group, you know. We were not like a, a sideman thing. We were the Rod Stewart group. We, we only played with him. We, um, we, when we went on the road, we had percentages of the, of the tours, you know, we were the ones on his albums for, I don't know, for seven years. It was an amazing experience. And the, the most amazing thing for me was to actually write, co-write Do You Think I'm Sexy, which became his biggest song he ever had. And the song is still relevant today. He, they just re-recorded it again with DNC. He was Rod singing and, and the Jonah Brother guy singing. I don't know how much of a hit it became, you know, because it, it's different. Uh, the first week it had three million Spotify downloads, but you make nothing on that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but but anyway, like I went online the other day and I, I looked at the thing I'm sexy on YouTube. It had 63 million views. Nice. And I, and I also was on Hot Legs. Hot Legs had something like another... 40 million views, and then wow. and then Young Turks had another 25 million views. So just on those videos with Rod, I had I was involved in over 100 million views. Sure. That I was, in, you know, I mean it's it's mind-boggling here. Really, yeah. You know? And wow. uh, it was amazing. It was that that was probably the, the pinnacle of my career. You know? for, for Rod, it was the biggest time of his career. Carmine apiece, and his latest project is with his brother Vinny on a record called Sinister, which is pretty darn cool. It's got some really cool singers in there, too. Uh, make sure you check out The Riff with Jack Trash on Friday because we are going to be joined by Steve Lynch of Autograph. Until then, live your life to 11.